home sweet home for the night. It is one of the UK's most popular dogging sites. There's a lot of movement going on outside. And little do they know, I've got chicken in the oven. Ouch. Room temperature, 28 degrees. That's pretty warm when you're in a metal tin box. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a 30 degree day here in the UK. Another heat wave is on the way. Today, we're gonna to be going van camping back in Mary, but before all of that, I need to do some van maintenance. If you guys saw the last stealth camping video, you will have seen that the key fob and the buttons on my key do not work at all. The first suggestion I had was to go inside here and to unplug a cable, which potentially might reset it or do something. This is the fuse box for the van. I've been recommended to unplug this one right here. Let's uh, give that a go and see if the key fob works. Loads of people also said in the comments just to replace the batteries, but I can assure you it is not the batteries. This is literally the third key fob that I've paid for to get professionally done. It's not the batteries. Let's plug that back in. Nope, nothing. Uh-oh, disconnect battery. Oh God, I'm gonna kill myself. I know I've done a van conversion, but, well, a van conversion with a lot of help from a lot of good people, but, oh Jesus, this scares me. I think we might just leave disconnecting the battery. I'm not feeling brave enough to uh, get electrocuted today. The next job on the list is to replace this. I've lost the cover for it. I ordered a new kit off Amazon. This is the new one, so I just need to replace this for this. But first job is to try and work out how the hell to get this out. Oh, just like that. Ugh. Oh, brilliant. If it sat like that, perfect. But it doesn't. It bulges out. Fucking hell. Where there's a will, there's a way. Or where there's a YouTube to learn how to do something, there's a way. Too many keys. I just bloody locked it. It's the little things in life that make you happy. Now I actually have somewhere to store my toothbrush properly. <sighs> Just won't do up. If anybody knows what to do with that, how to tighten the, uh, the tap, please let me know. I know how to tighten it, it just, it won't tighten. It always constantly comes undone. I'm thinking I might glue it down, but that might be a job for tomorrow because then I can let it dry properly. Ah. Okay, finally, time to hit the road. First stop is to the gym to get a shower because uh, I'm stinking hot and sweaty. I tell you what, living in a van on and off, in this type of temperature isn't nice. So hot, so humid. Tonight I'm gonna to try and find a camping spot with a bit of a view. Oh dear, oh dear. Ah!
showering in gyms and parking in lorry car parks is what life has come to right now, but it's okay. Hello there, my friend. I forgot to bring my towel. Here it is. Ah, what an idiot. Home sweet home for the night. This should do the job lovely. Well, if you've recognized where I am, well, you've been watching this channel for a long, long time, so thank you very much for that. And if you recognize it for a different reason, you're a dirty bastard. Where I'm parked right now is the top of Rygate Hill in Surrey. It is one of the UK's most popular dogging sites. Now, that isn't the reason why I've come here. I've come here purely for the reason that I just wanted to wake up with a view, with a bit of different scenery, and it's just a lovely spot. I think summer is too hot for anyone to be getting up to any dogging, so hopefully we should have a nice, quiet night staying up here this evening. This is literally like deja vu because the last time I stayed here, I stayed pretty much where that guy is on his motorbike in the Ford Galaxy, probably over a year and a half ago. It's amazing uh, how much time flies and things can change. Tell you what, there's a surprising number of people just sat in their cars, but they're probably doing what I'm doing just here for the view. A few people smoking the ganja because you can smell it, a few people on dates, maybe a few people dogging, who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna get some dinner on the go. Tonight, it's very, very simple, very, very easy. Room temperature, 28 degrees. That's pretty warm when you're in a metal tin box. Tonight's dinner, as I said, very quick, very simple. Actually, no, that's a lie, it's not very quick. It's just some oven chicken with some uh, microwavable rice, which I'm gonna have to do in a pan. Never done that before, so that's the first. A lot of you probably are aware, but some of you might not be aware. My cooking unit is actually a two hob gas burner, a grill, and an oven. So, hence why I got this uh, chicken breast, which you literally just chuck in the oven for half an hour. Hey, we're live. Just a little flame out the back there. So close this up, wait for that to get warm, chuck the chicken in. Hey, and you know the best thing about having this van now 
and being able to use it and live in it is the football season is back. That is the entire reason why I installed this TV. Where the hell is the remote? I've already missed the first half. It's a crap game anyway. It's West Brom versus Watford, I believe. But still, for me to be able to watch the football inside a van and cook chicken and rice and eat it and just chill out, oh, mate, that is an absolute dream. Oh, you're joking. Where the hell's Sky Sports? No. No. I'm sure it was on Sky Sports. Is there a way to add an app? What an epic fail this is. If I can't download the Sky Now app on here. I've had an absolute mare. Sky Go, no search results found. Oh, what an epic fail that is. Roku is the uh, TV application or service that I've got but I had no idea that it didn't have Sky Go which was one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to have a TV in here so I guess tonight we won't be watching the football I'll have to figure something out perhaps a dodgy box if you know about them you know what I'm talking about few people leaving few people coming in it's all go 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 That just at least stops people thinking I've got my cab light on because apparently if you flash your cab light twice, it means you're, uh, you're in for a good time. Let's have a look if we're actually making a dent in this. Hey, that's hot in there. So, oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. There's a lot of movement going on outside. And little do they know, I've got chicken in the oven. Just pulled the chicken out because I thought it looked a bit brown on top and it almost looks done. 10 minutes too early. Okay, maybe not. That is raw as anything in the middle. Okay, that is nowhere near done. Oh God, everything's so hot because the oven's been on. That is boiling hot. Ah, Jesus, I'm gonna turn that off now. Nothing's burning at the back, is it? Rice in a frying pan. Well, there's a first for everything, that's for sure. The chicken, ouch, is it cooked? Looks cooked to me. There we have it. Some chicken breast with some ricotta sauce on top and some microwavable rice cooked inside the frying pan. This meal is not complete without some mayonnaise. What's the situation looking like out here? Few cars left, loads of people have left now. And I'm gonna tuck in to some dinner. There's two things that I love in life and that I'm passionate about. Cheddar cheese and mayonnaise. Mm, not bad at all. If anything, I've overcooked the chicken. Dinner was absolutely delightful. I'm stuffed. All I wanna do is get into that bed, get a book out, and just read. Don't judge me, but it's half nine and I'm absolutely knackered.
don't know. I have any cash knocking about that's the question any coins nope uh... oh that is not coins that is a condom but uh no cash sadly that's a pity because i was uh looking forward to a nice cup of tea or something and a pan of chocolate, but uh, yeah, cash only. So uh, not today, unfortunately. Nevertheless, a nice little spot. People out here this morning, already enjoying the sun on the lounges. They've got toilets, a cafe there as well. And uh, a nice walk about 20 minutes that way for some even better views. Slept very, very well here, I have to say. Although there were some boy racers revving their engines at about midnight, but once they left, uh, yeah. A beautiful, beautiful sleep, feeling refreshed and revitalized. Oh shit, boy. This is typical, isn't it? I've just broken, potentially, my swivel chair. I just pulled on this to try and uh, move the chair forward to swivel it around, and now I've taken it out of here. Ah. Right, I fixed it. Thank God for that, not too bad. Oh my goodness me. There's a third time for everything. Oh, what's that? Everything's going everywhere. Oh my goodness me. Oh my God, I thought I skipped it. I thought I'd managed to be clever and miss the diversion. Obviously not. Roadworks, bloody everywhere. Mm, beautiful stuff. I'm gonna finish up on my extremely healthy breakfast of uh, two pan of chocolates and uh, some orange juice. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more van camping videos. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao for now.